Welcome to another episode of the Hank Fishing Show. I'm your host, Henry, and today I will be showing you the basics for getting into ice fishing. I'm just going to forewarn you here that this video is just a little bit all over the place, a little jumbled, so just bear with me. And uh, also, if you want to leave a comment in the comment section below how many times I said basically, because that is probably something you'll hear enough. And if you win, maybe I'll give you something. Probably not, but maybe. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is a handy old dandy auger. Um, these things, they're going to cut the hole for you so that you can get your bait down there and uh, hopefully, you know, catch a big one. But basically, I got this thing for 10 bucks on Craigslist. You can buy this probably for like 50 bucks, but I was going to spend 50 bucks on a hand auger. Once you have the hole cut with your auger, you take the scoop and the scoop here which did have a handle on it, but now it broke because of cheap plastic. And you scoop out all of the slush that is in the hole so that you can get a clean, you know, drop your line down there, get a clean cut, or a clean, whatever you get, it's just clean. Okay, so there are two basic ways you can ice fish. You can sit in the shanty and just wait for a tip rope to go up, or you can jig with a rod. So. I got two things here basically. This is basically what you use. You use a tip up or a jig rod. Now, you, usually most people, in the, at least in Wisconsin, they'll use, um, they'll fish panfish or with these like smaller 24 inch, 27 inch jig rods with small bait tipped with like a live bait wax or, or something like that. And then they'll use something like a tip up and uh, catch bigger game on it, bigger, bigger fish. These two sides go on the ice, and then this spool drops down and into the hole. Um, so then what you do is, you know, so you let your line out with your bait on it, and once you get that down to the depth you want, you take the flag, set it so that it gets caught there, and then you set it down on the ice. And then once the fish pulls on the flag, the flag will go up, and then you run out there and you you know, hook the fish. Basically that's just like a hands-free way of doing fishing. So like you could cook up some burgers, brats, you know, do whatever you want and then catch fish without having to really do anything except for the fun part. See, I don't I don't really have a great place to do all this stuff right now, so I'm just doing it like on the garage on the floor. If you have live bait, you're gonna wanna keep them in a nice place so that you can easily accessible have easy access to. So right right here we have two bait pucks. Um one I usually use for dead minnows, and that's just so. And as you can see here, I have little tiny uh, spikes in there. So you can tip your worms with that, or tip your jigs with that, and yeah. While I pick this up, you can laugh, I guess. So, besides using hooks and jigs and line and whatever you use to jig you know and get your fish you want to use this thing right here this is a depth finder basically you hook it on to the edge of your hook and you drop the line down once you feel the bottom you tug up a little bit make sure you hold that line while you're bringing it all up and then you got your depth at the lowest depth because usually if you're like fishing perch panfish you they're usually at the bottom they aren't like suspended in the middle of the water so you want to use one of these things when it comes to getting your ice fishing equipment, there are some things that are going to be more of accessories and some things that you actually need. Um, you can sort of tell in this video what are accessories to you and what you really actually need, which is pretty much a hook and a line and an auger. But if you go bare minimum, you probably could get everything for 100, under 100 bucks. Good, good amount to get you started. So, uh, yeah. Uh, hope you enjoyed another video of the Hank Fishing Show. Stay tuned for more and uh yeah this saturday i will be going trout fishing and this sunday i'll be or this monday i'll be going ice fishing again so stay tuned for more and uh yeah thanks a lot